It's just a Halloween party, that's all. Right, well, the only way you're going to get there is on your broomstick, eh? <laughs> mm, my dad, the comedian. Just make sure you come straight home afterwards. No loitering. I'm meeting Mum to talk about bridesmaid dresses, remember? Right, well, she can drop you off after, can't she? Eh? And no diversions. And no breathing, either. Well, that'll suit you. Women, eh? All of my exes do that once they're rid of me. It's like Charles Dingle, the last and final outpost on the frontier of commitment. Excuse me. I've been sat in that cafe like a lemon, and all the time you're sat in here drinking. Oh, Debbie, I'm sorry. She's just had a bit of a trauma, that's all. Your boyfriend is sleeping with the Ginga Minga from down the road. Oh, I get it. Just because she's your matron of honour, she's going to get the best dress, and I'm going to have to wear any old tap. Matron of honour? Well, I was going to say something about it, but <laughs> the timing wasn't really right. Why am I always the bridesmaid? Debbie, love, can we leave this till later on? No, I tell you what. Stuff your bridesmaids' dresses, because I'm not interested. Oh. You really expect me to walk down the aisle in front of that family after what they've just done to Well, me. I was hoping by then it might have calmed down a bit. I thought me and Carl might have made it. If I was to marry anybody, it would have been him. He don't want me, does he? He wants her. Men go for it every time, that wide-eyed girl that they can get all protective over. It's always been completely opposite with me. Either get the wimps that cower underneath me armpit at the sight of trouble or complete indifference. Because I think good old Chaz Dingle, yeah, she's hard enough to look after herself, isn't she? Carl was the first fella that I have ever been with that's made me feel... safe. How wrong can you get, eh? What time do you call this? I told you. I had to meet Mum. Has she never dropped you home? She's at the pub. And what are you doing in the pub? Who are you with? Mum, I've just told you that. Don't you lie to me, lady. I tell you what, how about you follow me around everywhere if you're really that bothered? Yeah, well, I might just have to. Get up them stairs now, cos you're grounded. Do you know what? It's worse than living in a prison living with you. It's not that late, is it? I just think that maybe you could believe her sometimes, that's all. All girls at her age lie. Her mother was just the same, and look what happened to her. Right, OK, yeah. I will. Right, see ya. Right. Your mum says she's sorry. Can you get together tomorrow to sort out your bridesmaid dress? Oh, so you believe me now, do you? Well, it looks like it, yeah. Right. Well, now you can say you're sorry. No, I don't do apologies, never. Fine. Then you can get me some fish and chips, seeing as that tea made me was a load of rubbish. <laughs> OK, go on, then. Do you fancy some, Andy? Yeah, if you go ahead. And Dad's paying, so that means you can have the full works. You don't want to bankrupt me, do you? Come on. We can talk about this frock, aren't we? What, after today? She can get stuff. Come off it. No, you're dying to play the princess in pink frills with pretty little girly flowers in your hair. <laughs> Shut up, Dad.